All right, Year 9. Now, what we're going to do now is a repeat of the experiment we did in the lab a few weeks ago, where we burnt a number of objects to test whether they contained organic matter or not. Now, as you'll recall, things like carbohydrates, nucleic acids, proteins, and lipids were all organic. So when you set fire to them, they combust into carbon dioxide and water, and there's nothing left of it. So when you burn something, and there's something left over, like ash or something that just didn't burn at all, you know that's inorganic material, basically mineral elements, things that aren't carbon-based matter. So today, I thought we'd repeat that experiment, only on a slightly larger scale. So I'm thinking, well, what things can we set on fire that are a little bit too big to have done in the lab? I'm thinking, well, we did some food, rock, flowers, etc. Well, how about a fridge? Okay, so, how are we going to do this? Well, we don't have a Bunsen burner, obviously, so this is not going to be the same kind of heat that a flame a Bunsen burner will generate. So, we'll just, uh, we'll just sort of, whoa, uh, splash it. Now, I am covered in petrol right now, so I'm not going to be the one lighting the match. I'll do it. Alright. Alright. Brother in the light the match will be on. Petrol away. Now, I'm going to stand well out of the way because I've got petrol loaded myself now. So, we're going to see is a fridge organic or inorganic? Okay. <laughs> well, it burns pretty good. Uh, hang on. It explodes. Well, that's what I'm worried about. Are we sure that there's nothing that's going to explode? Uh, no, it might actually explode. Well, what's going to explode? Like, is there something compressed in it? Well, it's got a tank thing. I don't know what's in it. Oh, uh, this isn't good. Hmm. I really, really hope we don't have an explosion here. And I hope none of the neighbours are going to be too cranky about this. Why don't you just go and close the door? <laughs> just, just go and close the door. What are you doing? Just go and close the door. Seriously. Whoa. <laughs> just, just close the door. It's closed. No, no, go close it properly. No. Fuck. Just go and close it properly. Can you, can you watch the language, please? No, seriously, we need to... No black fumes coming out, like, that's toxic. You go close it. Okay, you hold it, and don't swear either. Okay. What a fucking tool. Um, well, it doesn't seem to be burning much. I mean, there's fire coming off it. Hang on. There's certainly flames coming off it. And there is fire going on, but, um, certainly, I mean, I splashed some petrol on the outside of it. And as you can see, the outside of it doesn't seem to be burning at all. It seems to be mostly the plastic stuff on the inside. And that can mostly be explained because plastic is an organic matter. Plastic is um, basically long carbon chains. It's very similar in molecular structure to lipids, fats. Whoa. <coughs> Plastic, uh, fossil fuels like petroleum, oil, whatnot, and fats, they're all very similar. Uh, okay, well, I splashed plenty of petrol on the outside and the metal doesn't seem to be burning. Hang on, I'll, I'll open up the fridge. So now I've got to open it. Shit, it's a 
that's a, that's a lot of smoke. I think we might want to keep that close for a while. Filming just then? No, nah, pause. Alright, filming. Yeah, I'm filming now. Alright. Alright. Yeah. It's oxidised. As we can see, all the plasticky stuff on the. Can you. Yeah, please. Yeah. All the plasticky stuff on the inside has, well, pretty much combusted and melted. Why? Because plastic. Yeah, here. Plastic is organic matter. But all the metal on the outside. Still in one piece. In fact, it hasn't combusted at all. All right. Now, worst case scenario, it just goes a bit black with a bit of ash. But metal, mineral, it's mostly steel, which is mostly made of iron and a little bit of chromium. Uh, it's not organic, so it didn't burn. Now, what am I going to do with this fridge? I don't know. But anyway, that completes this demonstration. Back to school. the